Alrighty y'all, here we are, Almaden Lake Park, as close to uh, first light as we can be. The park officially opens at uh, 8 a.m., but a lot of the times they'll have the employees open it just a little early. So we saw a guy just open the gate on the other side and asked him, how long until the side would be open and he said not too long just a few minutes still haven't made it over here yet but they opened the other gate damn i should have waited on the other side morning <laughs> okay. let's go check on the spot where we saw the Big ol' six-pounder last time we were here. See if he's still there and willing to follow it back. Hopefully. Couple little birds down here. Yeah, little coots. Type of birds that eat bait. If there's bait-eating birds, then I have a good feeling about uh, fish being here. At least, better feeling than and not seeing any signs of life here. Alrighty. Let us see. Let us see. Nothing on that one. Happens if we throw a uh, jerk bait today. Hmm. That water is still kind of warm. It's good. Fish. The jerk bait does it again, boys. And he got at least one of them in his mouth. And it's for sure a, uh, a pliers sort of situation once again. Trying to help you there, bud. Trying to help you. Yes, sir. Put this in the back pocket. Thanks for playing, Jimmy. Have a good life. Jerk bait. Still putting in work. Let's go try here on one more cast here and then we'll go try the spot that was on fire last time. See if it's still on fire. Okay, we're gonna go try back there again. But we'll throw the we'll throw the glide bait first. Cause that's what we came here for, is to see if there is a big one. Stinky sun being all bright, making me blind. So bright, uh, that sun just in my eyes. I think we might actually go try the other side.
There we go. They are still here. They have not left. Still got Jimmy's here. It's funny. Bit it, lost it, and came back for it. <laughs> Little Jim Bob, you'd think there'd be a big one in there with him, with that this school of half pounders somewhere. Let's try the glide on this side, see if it yields any followers at least. At least it's the Arashi and not a like a bajillion dollar glide. Still expensive. There he goes. Knew that there was a high likelihood of that happening though. Still sucks. It's the risk you take when you bank fish big baits. It's like I would walk in the water, but meh. Meh. I don't know about. Don't really feel comfortable with the almond and lake water specifically. Luckily, we have another one. And this one is trout colored. Would you look at that? Yeah, that one rock right there specifically has snagged us more than once, mostly on jigs, but other, other lures too. I have a feeling that uh, if this water does drop any lower, there's just going to be a pile of people's lures, like literally right here at the bank. I'm assuming that this one swims just the same as the last one. Yep, I can tell by the way that it feels. Stand on the wobble rock. It's crazy. We got bit and then we lost it. Alright, we out here this morning, Stevens Creek once again, we got our glide bait and a little bit of time to kill before we have to, before we go home and go to sleep and start our weekend tomorrow. We've got a little bit of time, so we're just going to toss this around, explore this side, see what happens. Just got off work, <coughs> I'm feeling like we might be able to at least have a couple followers. Just seeing a big fish would be cool, man. It is a crisp, cool morning. And this water is down lower than I thought it was. That's pretty nifty. <clears throat> Just gotta watch your step. It's 
some slick mud to some gravel. carp over there is going nuts. It also could be a trout too, to be honest. Okay, one last cast here, then we're trying the other side. Okay, we'll go try the other side. Got him. Got one. First Arashi bass. Let's go, dude. Woo! Look at that, dude. Let's get a picture of this bad boy. Look at that belly. It's a fatty. Absolute fatty, absolute unit. That belly dude, right in his face too. Hell yeah, dude. That was so epic, such an epic bite. Thank you for blessing me this morning. We're gonna get a weight on you. Hey, you weren't going nowhere, my friend. Yeah, sir, not long, but fat as hell. All right, y'all, this morning came out here, throwing the Arashi Glide Rainbow Trout color. Got the short, but super stubby bass right here. Three point two. You know, three pounder and a two pounder's body. Went for that big ol' Arashi glide. Can't complain, dink. Let's get him back. So much fun, dude. Back he goes. Wow, that was exhilarating. Should keep my freaking pliers in my back pocket, dude. Was not ready for that. Ugh. I was ready for that, but I was not ready for that. If that makes any sense. Probably won't be another one in the exact same spot. But we'll do another cast right here. Yeah, I was just doing a slow retrieve with some pops here and there and then right here next to all this wood That's why we decided to make a cast here because we've seen all this wood Thought that maybe there might be a fish on it and guess what there was Okay No followers right here Oh yeah, I can feel where it bit on this lure. Such a nice feeling when you can feel the bite marks of the fish that you caught on a, on a big old lure like that. All right, we're gonna go try down over there and then that's probably gonna call it for this morning. 
real quick I just wanted to point out like stuff like this right here is what I cast pi past a lot with the big glides and spinners too but like just sunken wood because they can be hanging out right underneath it or in it or like a little further off the bank like down deep looking up at it a lot of the time they'll hang out there in ambush because it's easy to pin bait against that wood or the bank by the wood but uh those are spots that i target with like spinners and swim baits and chatters and stuff like that just spots where it's easier for the bass to get their food because bass are opportunistic feeders um Sometimes they'll just hard chase something until they catch up to it, but a lot of the times they just like some an ambush point. And this is a perfect example of what I consider an ambush point. Spot we were casting back over there where we caught that three pounder. It was pinned up right against the bank again with some wood for the bass to hang out in. So that's why he was there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go try there and then we're gonna call it for this morning. Alrighty y'all, that's going to conclude it for this morning. I don't know if this is going to be a video in itself or if it's going to be part of another video, but hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos and we will see you in the next one or with, or in the later, in the blah, 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 boop, 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 boop. <laughs> later in the video. Next one or later in the video. See you then. Peace.